Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest just crossing the bridge there with a very irritating Varun guard who keeps following me around. You'll find out. Anyway, and we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space. And today we're going to go and visit that fella in the shack and just see what his little story is because I'm intrigued. So let's get into it. Choop. Dude, what is your beef? You've been following me around all bloody day. God, bloody hell, honestly. Can't do anything. Can't do a damn thing. Without being harassed and harangued. So, he's on, I assume his shack is on the outskirts, or what? I am trying to keep strong. Okay. I fear I may be losing my mind. I mean, you are lying on the pavement outside the goods exchange. That is a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, but that's fine. All right, up we go, up we go. Yeah, I assume his shack will be on the outskirts. I, I don't know why I assume this, but you never know. Whee! Oh my god. Okay, I didn't realise that was quite the drop that it is, but never mind. Oof. Uh, hmm. Whee! Okay. Sorry, folks. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah, because I come from, you know, the land of heathens, probably. Well, in their eyes, I do. Of course. All right, so... My brother lost his but... wife and home in the catastrophe. Oh, dear. How can anyone be the same after that? I suppose they can't, really. Uh, right, so let's have a look at the old map here. So there's his shack. See, I could take the Rev 8 and we could drive out this way, couldn't we? Yes, I think I think we'll do that, Lemon Pest. Let's grab the Rev 8. Take it for a spin on Varun Kai. Alright, so. Is this the way out? Is this the way to Amarillo? Even though we're not on Earth anymore. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. oh there you go. Okay, that's quite the view. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yep. Uh, sorry, Mr. Robot, don't mind me. I'm just, um, yep. Ooh, we we'll scan that. We can't. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Sorry, don't mind me. Lovely view. Oh, hello. Don't mind us. We're just, um, you know, out for a drive. Okay, there's no need to start beef with us. What the hell is that? Oh. Just, 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 okay. Oh, it's those, those dudes. What, can we, um... Okay. Oh, hello. Uh... Little baby goat. Groat, really even. Gone? Not goat. Or did they see you and me as a... Alright. Are they... No. A wretched what? vortex horror. Oh my god, what the hell? What? Ouch! Okay, this is not good. Okay. Jeez, jeez! Oh god, 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 oh god. Jeez, what the hell are those things, man? Dark vortex system, vortex shard. Are these. Oh, don't! Lemon Pest, I hope you're not shooting the, the, the groats. They're alright. She's Egypt's. Okay. Well, all right. <gasps> the farmer was killed. That's not good, is it? Oh, this is awful. We've we've caused a ruckus. Lemon pest, lemon pest. Let's. What are you? What are you? What are you? Can we put our weapons away? Let's just chill. Uh, oh, vortex shard. We'll take that. Oh dear. 
Um. Well. Not exactly brilliant. I'm not gonna lie. Are you all all right? Female groat and the kid. Well, at least the. All right, all right. We might as well um, gather up the goods. Grim Vortex Phantom. Oof. Well. Bloody hell, look at all these chunks. You know, we were just out for a drive. That's all we were doing, out for a drive. That wretched vortex horror, though, what the hell is that thing? Ugh. Ugly. Gross. Blech. Right, come on, pests. let's go. Get in. Drive and see this fella in his shack. Bloody hell. So, oh, okay. That's a Varun Zealot. Why are there Zealots here? Does this thing have... It does. Okay. That's interesting. wise to um to get out actually <laughs> out <laughs> die in a hole there we go beautiful okay so what was here groat milk zealots shielded lab outfit what's that some kind of garb out groat milk Lots of groat milk. I mean, we'll take it. We can sell it. What's that, though? Cred stick. Hey! So, all right, folks. Don't mind us. We're, um... We're just here. Having a nosy. Yeah. Hail pod. Alright. Yeah, groats are alright, aren't they? They don't really cause much trouble. Farmers here. Oh, yeah. This must be... Where they bring... Malik's Groat Farm. Hey, alright. Well, um... Oh, there's the other body. Look, there's the other body. That's what I wanted. Creds. Yep. Ah. Hail pod. Alright. Let's move on to pastures new. So, well, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Where's his shack? Uh, I see. Okay. So I think we can go up and round this way. Maybe. Scan the groats. What is this? Nautilus scavenger things. There's a dung pile. I kind of feel like we should maybe search the dung pile. I don't know why. There's probably going to be absolutely nothing of any interest inside it, but you never know. Aromatic. Aromatic in a dung pile. Lovely. All right, come on, lemon pest. Let's go meet this fella now, so I think if we go up and round this way we should be alright. I'm rather enjoying the, the Rev A, this is very good. It is rather useful. It's good that you can scan stuff as well while you're on the move. Because we see a lot of things while we're out and about. That's the thing. So, is his spot okay? Over here? Yep, there you go. Let's keep it moving. Oh. Uh. Huh. You can only reach it by foot, eh? Well, do you know what? Let's, let's pull up a few. Pull up a few up here. Alright. What's that? Is 
Is it a person? Yes. Oh no, it's a. It's a Varun robot. All right, dude. I'm here to talk. In fact, what we will do before we do anything is we'll reload our bloody weapon just in case. And maybe have a little snacky poo and some health because I'm in a bad way. Let's be real. Um, we'll have a boom pop, boom pop. Um, groat milk. Groat pie. Gonna have some groat pie. Why not? Why not? Um, maybe the meal kit. Uh, Eleven. Goza. We're not bad. We're not bad, actually. Uh, seaweed wine. Okay. Yeah. That's just, we should be alright from that. We should be fine. Okay. Uh, down here. Okay. Okay, why can't I? Yeah. There we go. The jetpack wasn't working. What the hell? So this is his little little spot, is it? Orahim's shack. Seems a funny way to get to a shack. Climbing over all these bloody rocks. What's this thing? Ooh, that's what this thing is. A little stash. Else, ah, uh, creds, credits. All right. Oh, hello, dude. Um, nice place. Uh, guessing it has. Oh, there was a gate here. Well, never mind. Never mind. Guessing it's seen better days, man. You have come. I have, of course. Please, I have. sit with me, so that we may continue our prior conversation. You seem a little keen, but you know, um, yeah. What prior conversation? We barely talked, and you wouldn't tell me anything about yourself. Then, let us rectify that now. Please, sit. Well. Okay. Thank you. Lemon Pest. One false move, you pull out that minigun and blow the mother away. Alright? I am not very accustomed to having discussions. At least not yet. I used to simply give demands, orders, ultimatums. And old habits tell me. Oops. Does the name Kozlov mean anything to you? Kozlov. Kozlov. I've never heard that name before. Many people who heard that name do not live long enough to hear it again. Kozlov is what those in Dazra would refer to as a zealot. A brutal, sadistic one at that. Okay. His love of violence has eclipsed any supposed dedication to the Serpent's Crusade. He kills simply because he enjoys it. And I was his right-hand man. Oh, Three see. months ago, I gave up that life, swearing to never go back. All right. Well, um... Do you know what? Go on. I was not expecting such a muted response. I do not know if that makes me feel good or bad. My new life, as short as it has been, has not been easy. Mm -hmm. All I want is a new start. To forget who I was, what I have done, when you become haunted by the ghosts of countless dead, people who have died violently by your hand, you begin to worry about what awaits you on the other side. Um, What exactly did you do? 
I have ended so many innocent lives. Many times in ways I refuse to speak of. And every time, Kozlov was there, laughing, cheering. I realize now that it was not the great serpent I sought approval from, but of him. To think I have done such horrible things to be accepted by a wicked man like him. It sickens me, and yet, for reasons I do not understand, I viewed him as my brother for most of my life. Sometimes I still think of him in that way. Well... <sighs> we can't change the past. It's time to move on, guilt or no guilt. But you'll have to live with it, dude. It is not as simple as that. The people of Dazra do not trust me. I am exiled, doomed to spend the rest of my life in this shack, waiting for Kozlov to eventually come for me. I see. There is only one way to truly move on. Kozlov and his zealots have taken refuge on Verun Kai. They will come for me in time when I least suspect it, and I will not stand a chance against them alone. Which is why you and I will strike first and wipe them out. Together, we may stand a chance. With Kozlov and his zealots made dust by our hands, the people of Dazra will see that I truly am reformed. And I can finally begin my life anew. Hmm. I'll do it. Good! Yes! You are doing a good thing. We both are. Hmm. Now, meet me at this location as soon as you are able. Be prepared for a fight. Um, hmm. Has your belief in the Great Serpent changed at all after leaving the Zealots? My belief in the Great Serpent has not changed. But my commitment to the Serpent's Crusade is no more. I have meditated on this for quite some time. But I believe that the Great Serpent afflicted me with guilt as punishment for straying from the Serpent's Crusade. I was following Koslov, not him. But from that guilt came a reckoning for my past actions. And I have lost the will to continue the Crusade. And I suppose now I am an accursed myself. Hmm, an accursed, yeah. Yeah, why did they let you linger around the refugee camp if they've rejected you? It doesn't make sense. Politics, fear, even hope. It is a complicated subject. In case you are unaware, the people you know as zealots were once House Mali, one of the noble houses in Dazra. Opinions of zealots vary in Dazra. Most are distrusting and fearful, but others are sympathetic. And I am sure some even hope that one day House Malin will return to Dazra. To some, violently removing a zealot could be seen as raising a hand against a noble house. As I said, it is a complicated subject. Much easier to just ignore me and hope the problem goes away. Hmm. Well... What is wrong with you? Excuse me? Are you sure this will make the people of Dazra accept you? Of course not. I am not sure of anything. But I have no other options. 
All right. Once I do this, Damn. there is no going back. This will be seen by zealots as an act of blatant heresy. There will be no chance of reconciliation, and I will become a dead man walking to them. If that does not convince the people of Dazra of my conviction, my earnestness in leaving that life behind, then nothing will. Bloody hell. All right. I'd like to ask some questions about Kaslov. All right. Hmm. What makes him different from other zealots? There is a small but important distinction between Kozlov and other zealots. A zealot, brutal as he may be, kills in the name of the Serpent's Crusade. They kill those they deem not worthy of the Great Serpent. Kozlov, despite his bluster and phony piety, kills in the name of killing. He simply enjoys it. And a zealot with a bloodlust is a very dangerous thing. Hmm. Um. Why did he let you leave? Yeah, why did he let you walk away? He never did. When I approached him about my newfound crisis of conscience, he kept me under constant surveillance. One night, when the others were asleep, I fought my guards. And barely escaped. I see. Hmm. Well, what should I be expecting in his hideout? Many zealots, all willing to die in order to protect Kozlov. We must both be prepared for a great amount of bloodshed. And, obviously, there will be Kozlov himself. He will keep his most powerful warriors close to him. This will not be an easy fight. Hmm. Well... <sighs> Do you really think he'd hunt you down if we don't strike first, though? Undoubtedly. Koslov is prideful. And leaving the crew is the greatest dishonor anyone has ever dared to commit against him. He killed many of our crew for much lower offenses. Sounds As much as his zealots respect him, they also fear him. But what would they have to fear if it was acceptable to leave him? It is only a matter of time until Kaslav comes and makes an example out of me. Well, all right, dude. Um, I'll see you On there. On your then. way, then. Yeah. So, we've got to go to the Zealot hideout. All right, mate. Ooh. Oh, you got two safes here. Bloody hell. Well. What? Requires a bloody key? You having a laugh? Oh, really? Do you suppose? Hmm. Well. Doesn't even have the key on him. Really? That's a joke. That has got to be a joke. Can I have them digipics? Abraham's. Or a diary. Two. Well, where's one? Be quick about it. I don't know why you're asking me. You're going with me, mate. I'm not doing all this running around on my own, you know. Here we go. Orahim's diary one. Yes, another sleepless night. I fear I am losing my mind. She came to me like a vision. She stood in my doorway, arms outstretched, as if beckoning me to embrace her. Her beauty blinded me, and I was disturbed, terrified. I knew this woman, but I could not place her face. I moved towards her, against my better judgment. She remained perfectly still, her expression blank, her feet barely touching the floor. I moved inches closer, but was stunned into stillness when I heard her speak. It was unintelligible. A gurgled, pained noise that sounded like an animal caught in a trap. She repeated over and over and over, and I looked on in horror as her once pleasing features began to swell. Her eyes began to boil, her tongue turning into a ball of flesh in her mouth. Her body bloated to twice her normal size, her skin blue and grotesque and so tight it looked about to tear. Only then was I able to somehow make out what she was saying. Why? 
I closed my eyes, both in terror and shame. Yes, I knew this woman, and her crew, all thirty of them. I even recall the name of her vessel, the Advantage, a good ship that Kaslav took for himself after we had dealt with every accursed on board, shepherding them like groats in the airlocks, and then, both of us laughing, we pulled the levers, releasing them to their doom. We were laughing, smiling. When I eventually grew the courage to open my eyes, the spirit of the woman was gone from my doorway, and now I am so sad, so ashamed, so guilty and disgusted, afflicted with the knowledge that this torment is less than I deserve. Damn. I mean, that's not nice. That's awful, actually. What a what a way to die. Oh, God. Orahim's Diary 2. Great Serpent, why do you continue to torment me with these visions, this guilt? Did I not do your bidding? The accursed that I made dust, it was in your name that I did so. The countless lives I have taken, I did it all for you. Of course, you are too wise to believe that. You have punished me with the curse of clarity, and I see now that I strayed from your righteous path. It was not out of devotion to you that I laid waste to the accursed, but out of devotion to him. But I am so confused, great serpent, so very confused. Why now did you choose to make me feel such shame? Why me, and not Kaslav, of all the rest of our brethren? I crave not only your forgiveness, but the forgiveness of the accursed as well. The feelings of guilt that afflict me, surely it is meant to guide me back into your fold. But I fear I cannot do your bidding, for I do not wish to kill any more. I do not know what to do. Please, great serpent, tell me what I need to do. I am afraid. Well, dude. I mean, ooh. that's heavy. That is heavy. All right. Well, um, don't mind me. I'm just going to head apparently onto your roof and um, back up to my vehicle if I can. Oof! There we go. Hmm. Well, what a thing to do to people. That's pretty, um, pretty unbelievable, isn't it? Come on, meat. Just, um, yep. Just making our way around. Well, Lemon Pest, we are, um, are wandering our way to um, go and find these folks in their hideout. Okay. Mediterranean Mal Mal Seer Farm. What the hell? Oh god, really? <laughs> These dudes are everywhere, man. What's going on? Oh, did Lemon Pest kill him? Good for you, Lemon Pest. Bloody hell. Look at that thing. What the hell? Okay. 
Over here! Attack me! Wretched Vortex Horror. Did we kill it? No. God, these things are tough. Okay! Bloody hell! Get away! Get away! You missed. I didn't. Hey! <laughs> Ugh. Well, that was... yeah. Is this poop? Oh god. <sighs> Again, just, just trying to go about our business. Just trying to go about our business. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether the vortex shards are worth taking, but yeah, maybe they will be. Uh, okay. On net what? Ugh, wretched vortex horror. Another one. Oh no, same one. Okay. An extractor. A water extractor. Okay. Alright. Let's continue onwards. Let's just check the old check the old map here. So we need to go up and round here. To this what's that? Ooh, interesting. We can check this out on route as well. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Let's rock and roll, buckaroo. I don't know whether. Hopefully, we won't come across any any ouch, any. Can we? Bloody hell! There we go. Won't come across any more of those Egypts. Because quite frankly, I've had enough of dealing with them. They're doing me in. What's this? Pent leaf. Mist haze cavern. Well. Oh god, more zealots. Do you know what I'm asleep? Oh, the phantoms are attacking the zealots. I mean, uh, that's there. Yeah. I can live with that. There we go. Do those. Hmm. Do the vortex folks just appear? That works. Not a problem. Yep. So what's this? Some kind of watchtower or something? Probably. Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. No more bad days. Oh, yep. There's a bad day. Hearing a lot of... A lot of... Uh, weird bird noises. Okay. Yep. So what else is up here? Really? Nothing? Huh. Pent leaf? Another pent leaf. Huh. Alright, Lemon Pest. Well, there you go. We came, we saw, we whooped them, and now we're going to leave. Because why not? Really, the one. Can I just? Can I just? Can I just? There we go. That was easy. This is kind of cool. Alright, now you're dead. Is this some kind of... spot? One of these vortex thingies? Okay, well... I'm hearing a lot of feet walking around. Is this... can we... Okay! 
I mean, that was probably a little stupid, but... Okay. Eh. Uh, lemon pest. Bloody hell. Come on. Get in. I don't know for this affair. Bloody hell fire. We. Okay. Oh, ideal. Good God. There we are. Hunting rocky bone crest. All right, uh, you're all going to be bothered by us. We're just um, trying to kind of come through here. Don't don't mind me. Just yeah. We're just just out out for a drive. Not doing anything bad. Oh God, what? Who 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 are you? Patrolling guards. Well, that's fine. We're not we're not really going to be bothered by, by your presence. Oof. This is potentially the first time we've used the Reve in earnest. I think we'd better leave it here, though. Just, um, you know. Shrine. This is a shrine. There's a shrine here. Mm. Okay. Okay, what? Who are these folks? Do we... Are they... Bad or good? Hmm. Unknown. An unknown quantity. Dim... Vo oh, did they... Are they... Hmm. Look at this thing. Ugh. Kind of gross. So is this another one of the shrines? Okay, this is not good. What? 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 Whoa! I mean, are these dudes just following us around? Is that what this is? Oh God. Okay. Um. Well. I mean, I feel bad, but you know, what can I do? What can I do, Vroon Zealot? Did the entities just attack them as well? Looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, Mal Sir, a potent Vroon wine made from local tubers used in ritual ceremonies. We won't, we won't interfere with that. So what's this? Some kind of shrine to who, though? Shrine to what? These bleed... Horrors? Good lord. Alright, well. I'm here and shooting. I'm here and shooting, ticks! Are you alright, love? What's going on? You alright? What's happening? Don't mind me. Where? Who? What? By who? By what? Okay, jeez. Look at Lemon Pest just diving in there. Bloody hell. Okay. Okay. Now they've disappeared. Where, where did they go? Bloody hell. Really had, really had lemon pest doing something, didn't you? Hey now! Okay, this is not good. 
Jeez Louise. Good God. What the hell? Bushing Advanced Broom Star Lash. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Give me that ball, take a shot. What? Is there more killing? What? Is that more of them? Come on now. What's going on? Okay. Uh, can I... Yeah. So who are you? Are they? Yeah, they're the guards. All right, that's futs. Oh God, look at this! Bloody hell! Uh, yeah, yeah. Take the shard as well. Why not? Uh, are you all right, boys? Yeah. Guess they are lemon pests. Guess they are. All right. Well, that was. Um, it was unique. It was unique. That's all we'll say. That's all we'll say. All right. Shame about some of the locals, but I mean, what can I do? I'm hearing some weird noise now. What's what's the weird noise? Oh, it's this. Okay. Uh, so this is some kind of shrine. Is it a shrine that I'm supposed to have visited? Oh. oh. The words of devotion. Okay. From the Shrine of Redemption, our journey brings us here to read these words and remember the Great Serpent's teachings. Each day and each night, all that we do and think must be in service to the Great Serpent and none other. The true believer shuns the false gods of others. Only with minds unclouded by doubt will we be found worthy. Well, all right. I mean, that's great and all, but... I don't know what that's done for me. Okay. Apparently nothing. That's fine. So, was this just a shrine then? Guess so. Guess so. I mean, I feel bad that the locals got kind of done in because they were just here to worship, weren't they? But, well, oh, I don't know. A funny old world, this one. Very funny old world. Good grief. <sighs> they do like the, the sort of pointy rocks. It's very um, interesting. It's got little etchings on it. That's also interesting. Why is the what looks to be blood on it as well? That's also a concern. Hmm. What do you think, Lemon Pest? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Cool. We are going to leave it there for today. Next time we will continue onwards to the Varun camp and um, find them, do them in, sort the fella out. You'll be alright then. We'll go from there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>